What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new Let's Play. This is Castle Crashers. I didn't think I would ever do a run of this game, but here I am doing it. It's something I'm good at and something I know a lot about, so I think I think it'll work out. I think it'll be good. First off, what I did by going over here was I switched it from normal to insane mode. I'm doing an insane mode walkthrough. So, first off, Time to get the tools of our run. The uh, weapon I'm holding right now is mainly for increased magic capabilities, which is good, but that's not what I want. Well, it is kind of what I want. This gives us increased magic as well, and increased defense. Uh, it takes away strength, but it gives critical hits, which it will be something good. One of the main com combos that I'm going to be using will... Uh, will rely on, well, not rely on critical hits, but critical hits will help a lot. So, the dildo sword is the sword I'm going to be using. And the animal that I'm going to be using is Hawkster, which attacks fallen enemies, but it also pulls fruit from dead enemies. So, it's very useful. Okay, and another thing. There would normally be a compass here. If you had never beaten the game on Insane, or Normal, what, whatever mode you're playing on, there would be a compass here, so... I have the compass already. And here's the first level, let's start this. So, the animal orbs will either increase your stats, or... They'll, uh, help you find things like items or, uh, food. Obviously, I told you what mine does. Um, throughout the levels, there's weapons laid out around that you can pick up, and they'll be stored in your frog. The, the big frog that I was in with all those weapons that I showed you. I have all the weapons, so I'm not going to be picking up weapons on this playthrough, but if, you, if you're just starting the game, you might want to pick those up. The character that I'm using is the Fencer, which, uh, if you beat the game with the Blue Knight, you get the Industrialist. If you beat the game with him, you get the Fencer. And I'm also level 99, which is the highest level. So I'm all the way leveled up, my stats are maxed, which is ideal for Insane Mode. Because Insane really lives up to its name later on in the, the game. It gets pretty insane. At the beginning, it's not too tough. I mean, you can take out enemies pretty fast. They don't pose much of a threat. But later on, a few hits and you're dead. Luckily, you can buy potions in this game to use. You can carry up to five. They restore your health completely. If you're playing in co-op, if you have more than one person alive, then uh, your potions will be used automatically when your health runs out. But since this is a solo run, I have to use my potions manually, if I need to use them. I shouldn't in most of the levels, but there will be some later on where I need to. And I only have three at the moment, so I will buy a couple here. There are only 12 coins in this shop. This is the second cheapest shop for potions. Alright, castle area is done. Moving on to the Barbarian War. So this run is not necessarily a... It, it's not a speed run. It's not a... Uh, it's not a skill run or a, a glitch run or anything. It's just, you know, me, me playing ca casually, I guess. Well, not necessarily casually. I'm trying to do well and not die, but uh, but it's not a big deal if I do. And it's not going to be potionless. I'm going to be using my potions. Uh, sometimes enemy, enemies drop items like that. So, uh, yeah. They drop their weapons once in a while. Uh, but anyway, what was, what was I saying? Uh, will I be exploiting glitches? Um, I don't... I don't think so. There may be some exploits that I'll do that would be considered to some a glitch. So if you don't like watching runs that use uh, 
exploits or glitches, then you might not want to watch this. Uh, what else do I need to say? Um, I've already beaten the game on Insane with this character. That's why uh, the level, all the levels are unlocked. But I will be going to them in the order that you unlock them. Uh, if you're, as if you're playing it for the first time. I'm not going to be doing any skipping around. And I'm definitely not going to be uh, doing the thing where you, like, do the last level in a chain of levels to get credit for the whole thing. So, it, it, it's hard to explain, but there's a way to skip levels and beat the game, basically. So I won't be doing that. I'm going to be beating every level. Except for the arenas, because I don't really consider those a part of the main uh, story mode. So, no arenas, but everything else... Oh, uh, if you happen to see that combo there, I'll do it again right here. Boom. Super punch that does 200-something damage. X, 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 Y, Y. The first Y in that combo is the punch, and then... If you want to add the second Y onto it, it's the spin. Juggling. You can do air combos, hit people, bounce them around in the air. As long as you keep hitting them, you can stay up. And you can keep them up as long as you want, basically. And also, a lot of people don't know, but you don't have to be hitting an enemy to stay in the air. There's an air combo where you can carry yourself without, uh, without hitting any enemies. Alright, first mini-boss. It's a uh, Trojan horse. A steam-powered Trojan horse. So, I'm basically just gonna juggle myself around to kill this guy. There's... Oh, wait! I'm using the guy with the awesome magic. I can just be doing that. Yeah. Those saws take out bosses so fast. Which is why I chose this character. <laughs> it's kind of cheap, but... I mean, the bosses aren't the hardest part of this run. It's, it's the, the normal enemies, believe it or not. Just getting through the levels is what's hard. The bosses... They didn't really change the bosses that much on Insane Mode, which doesn't make a lot of sense. They Some of them don't even do more damage, they just have more health. They have like 5 times health. It's either 5 or 10. I don't think it's 10, I think it's 5. 10 would be a lot, but yeah, they have more health, the bosses. All the enemies have more health on Insane Mode. Everything's harder. And there's probably a lot of button tapping that uh, you can hear, right, from my controller. Sorry about that, but uh, I don't have a capture card. And it's easy just to record with the camera and upload it directly, so... It's, it's a good quality camera, so... Shouldn't be too much of a problem. These guys were napping, we just walked up and smacked them. Imagine if you were sleeping and somebody just smacked you around with a dildo. That wouldn't be too fun. Unless you're into that kind of thing. And I, I ain't judging if you are. I mean, I'm wearing Hello Kitty sweatpants right now. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, I, I hear you judging. Judging over there behind your computer screen. What do you know? Alright, just about to get done with this area and come up to the first major boss of the game. After I finish this guy off, okay, get an apple. Yeah, I've barely taken any damage so far. I haven't needed any recovery items at all. So this air combo right here, you can do this during cutscenes. It's, it's, it's pretty fun to, to use that to fly around. Especially online, where when all the other players are uh, standing still, and you're just flying around. It's pretty funny. Especially when the other players are like, how do you do that? How do you fly? I get so many messages when I play online on this game. How you fly? How you fly? Why you... How you move around in the air like that? Um, alright, this is the next level, the forest. If you didn't know, experience in this game is based on hits, 
not uh, not damage or kills. So one hit is one experience, and so on. Um, the giraffe pet gives you 1.5 experience per hit, I believe. And then, uh, uh, insane mode is like one and one and a half times, uh, what normal mode gives you in, in, in the experience. Something like that. It might be like 1.3 or something. Uh, playing in co-op also gives you a small boost as well. So to to get experience the fastest, you want to play in co-op on insane mode, and you want to do a lot of juggling like this too, because not only when you hit each of these guys will you get an experience point, but each time they smack into each other, you'll get an experience point. And there's a uh, there's an area coming up pretty soon where you can use that to your advantage majorly. Um, here's a pet right there, an owl. It's hidden a little bit, so, I mean, if you're not really paying attention, you'll miss that one easily. Yeah. Just juggled all those guys right there to their deaths. The butthole face, dudes. It's totally what they look like. Look at this guy, he has a butthole for a face. A butthole face thief. Thief. Whatever. And time to take a shower and owl poop. I need my daily hygiene, my cleanliness. That was refreshing. Alright. Now that I'm all tidy and neat, let's kill some more butt faces. Basically, this is going to be a lot of the game, me doing these air combos. But later on, there are enemies that you can't juggle because they're too heavy. So you can you can barely even get them off the ground. So I'm going to be, you know, doing combos on the ground and using my arrows a lot. If you have a maxed out character like I do, then the arrows go super fast. They're ridiculous. Those are your best friend on insane mode. And if you you have uh, another person to play with in co-op, and you, you're both shooting a stream of arrows, or better yet, three or four people shooting a stream of arrows, it's pretty deadly, especially when you get enemies trapped in between them. Oh, look at you little deer! Oh my god! Oh, oh that's nasty. That's nasty. Ew. Alright, more butthole faces. <laughs> Alright, you see that green little guy back there? He's a pet, but what he does is lets you move faster in water. But that's so useless because there's only two levels that have a tiny little spot where you can move in water. Well, I guess the other one, it's not a tiny little spot. But still, it's only two levels. And in this level, this is the only spot with water, so like most useless pet in the game. Never use this little seahorse lizard guy. Never use him, okay? Take my advice. Got some trolls right here, some forest trolls. This is what happens when you're a troll on the internet. You grow hair all over your body and you have to go live in the forest. True story. <laughs> oh, what am I even saying right now? Um, a weird thing about these guys, they're the same, uh, size as most of the other characters in this game, but, uh, you can't play as them. Oh, here's a weapon back here, by the way. It's kind of hidden. Um, uh, alright. And, oh my god, time to fight this bear! Not really, he gets scared and shits himself. <laughs> like all the other animals in this forest. They're scared of something. Here we have a chupacabra! Which, I don't need to kill, because it'll just run away. Those things will try to steal money. But not if I get it first. Oh, what, what you doing? You washing some clothes? You rubbing your butthole all over some clothes over here? Not when I'm around. 
It's not gonna happen, buddy. Okay, boss time, troll mom. Now, this thing is right here. Um, I'm not going to let it get out of this barn. Unless, oh my god. Wow, I'm getting hurt. You don't want to let this thing move around much because, yeah, uh, too late. Every time you hit it, when it's out running around, it'll move to a different spot. So it's really annoying. This thing is going to take a while to kill now because I let it get out. Need to heal right now. Didn't need, think I need to do that so soon. But basically, see how I'm juggling these guys around right here? If you go to this level and just juggle around the trolls and not kill the mom, then you will get tons of experience. You will level up so fast. You can get from level 1 to 99 in a couple hours. It's, it's pretty ridiculous. That is one of the ways that I leveled up my characters so fast. But another way is also the uh, boomerang exploit, which I will show you later. Because you can still do it on one boss in this game. Ugh. These guys are pretty dangerous because there's so many of them. If they surround you and all hit you at once, then they can do a ton of damage on you. Sometimes they'll even kill you and they'll keep beating down your body after you're dead. It's pretty funny. It's happened to me before. Alright. Saw time. The saws aren't even doing that much because he's running right through them. I really do not like this boss. It's probably the most annoying boss, even, even though it's not the hardest. It's the most annoying one, trust me. Well, I don't know. One of the most annoying ones. I just wish it would at least try to attack me or something. But it uses its little troll minions to try to kill me. Come on, buddy. We're getting there. Almost dead. So I don't know if you guys know about it, but uh, there was a uh, a tournament, Castle Crashers tournament, back in September of 2012 for this game. The uh, top 100 people in the month of August got invited to a uh, private Xbox Live tournament, Sing single elimination, and I ended up getting eighth place in it, which is pretty nice. And, uh, yeah, I got a cool little hat from it. It's a little black knit cap with the Behemoth logo on it. I wear it all the time. I wear it uh, to and from work. You know, because I wear a cap all day at work, and I have long hair, so it, it messes it up. It makes it all... Uh, crazy gives me hat hair there <laughs> there's there's the uh, there's what I was trying to say so I can just throw that on after work yeah there's a actually a uh, tournament highlights video that behemoth uploaded and you can see me in it but <laughs> <laughs> the clip that has me in it is me getting annihilated by the person that beat me. I don't think I even touched him in the, the first round of the match that I had against him. Which is pretty funny, because I, I did good in the other matches, but the one I lost, I did absolutely horrible. So, you, you see me get abs absolutely demolished by this guy. So this, this area right here, it's a little uh, mini-game type thing where you have to control a deer and try to avoid obstacles. You actually get an achievement if you uh, don't hit anything, but uh, I already have that. Um, here, I'm, I'm going to exit to map real quick because my camera's about to, uh, about to reset. 
All right, there we go. Um, anyway, what I was saying, um, you get an achievement if you avoid all the obstacles in that little area. But I, I already have it. I have all the achievements for this game. Um, if you follow the uh, the pooping deer, <laughs> uh, like, and w watch where it's going, you can uh, just follow right behind it, and you won't hit any of the uh, doorways because it'll always go where where you need to go. Some bullrog, bullrogs, bullfrogs. They'll die pretty quick to my razors. And that is a dead bullfrog. And stupid rocks knocked me off of my log that I was on. <laughs> we got some bats here. They'll chew on your head if you let them attack you. And you just mash X to... to get them off. At least it shows that you need to mash X. There's a little X icon. But the funny thing is about this game, times when you need to mash X or B or something, don't just mash that button. Mash all the buttons. Because it's... Oh my god. I'm about to get attacked! No! Um, yeah, you mash all the buttons and it'll get you out of it quicker. It, it, it's weird. Because they show just one button for those commands, but... It's really all the buttons that'll get you out of it. Also, when there are times when you need to waggle your control stick, all you do is hold the control stick left and the D-pad right, or vice versa, and it'll free you up out of that immediately. It's a neat little trick. Uh, it's especially good for arena mode. So here we have the catfish, the next major boss of the game. When he gets hit by a cannonball, his defense drops down way low, and he becomes much easier to damage. You know, me using this character is not doing justice to how hard this game can be, because uh, I'm really making these bosses look like cake. I mean, it's, it's pathetic how fast I'm killing these bosses. Anyway, I think that's enough for this episode. So in the next one, I will start Tallgrass Field. See you guys later, and I hope you're having a great day.